Hi everyone, it's me, Tommy. This is my channel, Tommy Can Fix It, where I teach you and everyone else <clears throat> simple DIY projects around the house, how to fix things, how to you know, make things, uh, tool tutorials, just things like that to make life simple for you when doing DIY projects. So with that, let's start today's video. Today, we are gonna be talking about electrical wire. Now there are two types of electrical wire and for the most part. There's a bunch but the main two we're going to talk about is what is known as solid or single core wire. Um, typically it'll look like this. Um, solid wire is single core wire is mostly used in areas where it doesn't need to move so like the walls in your house uh, electrical boxes in your house things like that because it is brittle it is extremely soft wire um, and it will break easy with a lot of movement um, so that's why they use that in areas where it's not going to move so that it doesn't break the other one we're going to learn about today is stranded wire now stranded wire, which looks like this, is just a bundle or a group of smaller wires that are compressed and twisted together. Um, mainly those are used when it needs to go through conduit or any kind of piping or tubing. Um, it is way more flexible um, and easier to move around so it won't be found in your home or shouldn't be found in your home it's not necessary to need it. Um, now, how do we identify the different sizes? Well, sizes are in electricity are referred to as the gauge or the AWG. The AWG is the American Wire Gauge System um, and that is just a calculated system for the identification of the diameter of solid and stranded wire. So the diameter is the distance across a circle um, and they've just calculated this huge thing that I'm not going to confuse you with today. Um, so with that AWG is what you'll see on your wire it'll have a number and an AWG. Um, the larger the number AWG the smaller the size of the wire and the smaller the AWG the larger the wire. So, for example, these two right here. This bigger wire is an 8 gauge wire. It'll say 8WG on it. Um, it is bigger, it's larger. This one right here is smaller but has a larger gauge number. This is a 10 gauge, this is an 8 gauge. Now, like I said, there's a complicated formula for that. We'll worry about that in a later video. Right now, you just need to know the bigger the wire, the smaller the number of the gauge. Um, typically, what you find in your home, your solid core wires um, are typically 12 or 14 gauge. As you can see, this is a 14. It is smaller than the 10 and a lot smaller than the eight. Um, so that's how that goes. Um, if you have any other questions about wiring, uh, feel free to ask. But these are basics just for identification purposes. Um, I will do other videos on wire nuts, how to use them, electrical tape when it's necessary. Um, those will be, probably be another video for another day. Right now, this is mainly just identifying the tools and the materials. Um, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe so you, know, you can see more of my content. Uh, click that bell icon. It'll notify you every time I upload a new video. Um, for the most part, that's it for this video. Um, if there are any questions, please leave them in the toolbox section down below. And I'll see y'all next time.